Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the chain rule to find the derivative of a function by applying a quick or a shortcut method. This shortcut method is useful when you need to differentiate functions and you're not specifically asked to use the chain rule. But the chain rule is required to find the derivative. And so here's how it works. If you're given some rule y is equal to a function f of x raised to the power of n then dy dx is going to equal the derivative of the outside function. Now the outside function is going to be f of x raised to the power of n. And using the power rule, this is going to be n times the function f of x raised to the power of n minus 1. And then we multiply this by the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is f of x, and so its derivative is going to be f dash of x. And that's it for the shortcut method. You just follow this formula. Let's look at part A to see how this works. We've got y is equal to 5x minus 4 raised to the power of 3. And so dy dx is going to be the derivative of the outside function. And so this is going to be 3 times 5x minus 4 squared. And then we multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is 5x minus 4. Its derivative is 5. And so this is going to be times 5. And so cleaning this up, this is going to be 15 times 5x minus 4 squared. Part B. y is equal to x squared plus 5x raised to the power of 8. And so dy dx, using the shortcut method, is going to be the derivative of the outside function. Using the power rule to differentiate, this is going to be 8 times x squared plus 5x raised to the power of 7. Then we multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is x squared plus 5x, and so its derivative is going to be 2x plus 5, giving us the rule of dy dx in one line. Now you need to be a little bit careful here the derivative of the inside function has two terms, and so you need to write this inside brackets. If you didn't write the brackets and wrote the answer as dy dx is equal to 8 times x squared plus 5x raised to the power of 7 times 2x plus 5, then this answer would be wrong, because this is not the same rule as the rule of dy dx we just worked out. So be careful when you're multiplying expressions with more than one term always included inside brackets. Part B. y is equal to x squared plus 5x raised to the power of 8. And so dy dx, using this shortcut method, is going to be the derivative of the outside function, which is going to be 8 times x squared plus 5x raised to the power of 7, and then multiplied by the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is x squared plus 5x. And so this is going to be multiplied by 2x plus 5, giving us the rule of dy dx in one line. We can simplify this a little bit further by taking out x as a common factor from the first brackets. And so this is the same as 8 times x to the power of 7 times x plus 5 to the power of 7 times 2x plus 5. Part C y is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared. And so dy dx, using the shortcut method, is going to be 2 times x cubed minus 2x raised to the power of 1 multiplied by the derivative of the inside function. And this is going to be 3x squared minus 2, giving us dy dx in one line. We can simplify this a little bit more by taking out x as a common factor from the first brackets, and so writing it in a more cleaner way, this is going to be 2x times x squared minus 2 times 3x squared minus 2. And that's it for this chain rule shortcut method. If you found this video helpful, then click on the like button or comment below and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you're studying maths methods, then log into the maths methods club and group questions related to the chain rule and see if you can answer exam questions related to this topic. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.